afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies baseball starts right now. Zach Eflin is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. Dan, please, Zach, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Now in the box, Ian Desmond, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the at-bat. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today. They come into this one off a loss that finally snapped what was a long, long winning streak. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. That is second. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy steps in now. Head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. He's one for five. First delivery to him on the way. Eflin is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch on this guy. At, at times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances around the strike zone. He has good stuff, but when he falls behind in the count, he tends to nibble a little bit. And then when he brings the ball into the strike zone, and when he does, he becomes much more predictable. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. John Gray, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? First-round draft pick out of the University of Oklahoma. Big arm, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Good, hard slider. It's never been about the stuff for John Gray. It's about attacking the strike zone. At times, gets a little bit too timid on the mound. But if he brings his A game, you'll know early. If he's throwing strikes early with that fastball and he's in an attack mode, he's as good as anybody in the game. And there's one away. Batting second. The third baseman. Gene Digging in now. Gene Segura. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. These Rockies guys. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Matty, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set, and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, D-Roll, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, oh. you like to be able to be the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, d -Roll. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. One ball, no strikes to count. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. What a hot streak. Stay hot, my friend. Up over 290. He is flirting with that 300. Elusive 300 batting average mark. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 
And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hoskins behind to count 0-2. Line hard to the left side. Foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, this inning was looking routine, and then with one base hit and a wild pitch later, things are looking a lot different. Now a base hit scores a run. Got to reset on the mound and make some good pitches here. The set and the one-two. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball into the second deck and gone. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. So coming to the plate, Didi Gregorius, and he's right. someone they're going to have to watch out for. Tough. You can see he's been a tough out over the last couple of series. pitch on the way a swing and a shot hit down the corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there right side he's got it go to Murphy will take care of him and that'll end the inning but the fight and strike for a pair both coming on this two run home run We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2 0 Philly. Second inning set to go. Standing in, Charlie Blackman. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Owen won the count. Here's the pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. That's it. The left fielder, David Dahl. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. The 0-1. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Hey, there's another base knock right there. Hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Eight games. Now, I man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. Story has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield, and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them, but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to, and it's impressive to watch. Yeah, anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. That is tough. The second base number one. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson, runner in scoring position with Sugan. 
first offering on its way. And oh. no swing, apparently. Ball one. That's Whoa. wide, 2-0. Oh. Not even close with the 1-0. Oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Oh, Work the quadrants. 3-0 and oh to him now. Has a look, now the pitch. Rewind. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Hoskins has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rockies strand one. They trail things here two to nothing. Last half of the second set to go. Into the box, JT Realmuto. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls and a strike to count. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. He's got to find a way to set his sights down, but if I'm the pitcher, I continue to climb that ladder until he makes an adjustment. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. The pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. Stepping into the box, Roman Quinn. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Hit on the ground out to short. Story scoops it up. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Scott Kingery. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. After two, it's a 2 nothing ball game. Set to get his day started, Dom Nunez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2-0 and as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Got it, got it. The pitcher, now to the plate, the pitcher, John Gray, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Into the corner and slicing foul. The windup and the 0-1. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Swing and a liner. Foul. One out, nobody on. Rocky's oh. pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. So coming to the plate, Ian Desmond. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. 
No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon is under it, and that's the third out. One left for Colorado. They're still down. It's 2-0. We're back now as the Phillies prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. Entering the day, they are arguably the most dangerous group of hitters in baseball as they rank first in the majors in both home runs and slugging percentage. Now, obviously, the home runs are a big part of the slugging percentage. But as one of the coaches told me, we've got guys in the lineup with dynamic skill sets. We've got plenty of power, but we've also got guys that will use the whole field and that can turn on the Jets when they shoot one into the gap. Safe to say, this is a tough lineup to hold down, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Now the pitch. Zach Eflin is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1-0. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. In this situation right here, I'm protecting my pitcher from himself. I know he wants to swing the bat and let the boys know in the clubhouse that he can do his job, but I'm probably putting a take sign on right here. Three oh. and oh now. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. you got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in a hurry. Swinging away there, it's three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Dahl, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So with one gone in the inning, time for a quick check of the standings in the National League West as you get a look at where the Rockies find themselves entering play here today. Striding into the box, Andrew McCutcheon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Blackman is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now that So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Ball and a strike. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. No two offer balls. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here it comes. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And now pitch on the way. Down is full. Three two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Fouled away. A payoff pitch one more time. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Oh, and one the count to Bryce Harper. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia, but they're on top two to nothing. Here's Nolan Arenado comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. Arenado swings, and this one is crushed out to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. Nolan Arenado touches them all. Seven home runs for him on the year now, and the Rockies have made this a two-to-one ball game. Well, as soon as it left the bat, you knew it had the distance. It was just a matter of staying fair or not. And you'd see it was hard hooking left until doink and caromed off the foul pole. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Blackman behind, no balls and two strikes. Blackman, or Chuck Nasty as he's commonly referred to. He was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. David Dahl to the plate now, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Ball one. We're playing 11, one one. Blackman on at first, nobody out. Slapped hard the opposite way, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. Changeup, called strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Segura has it. The throw short hops him at first, and now two men are aboard. Now batting, number one. Settling in now, Garrett Hampson. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A ball and no strikes. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two. Line towards center field. Quinn is there. Two gone. The catcher, two. So stepping in, Dom, Dom Nunez, Nunez. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on the second for the force. And the side is retired. Rocky strike for one on the homer by Arenado. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Rockies one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Ready to take his hacks again. Reese Hoskins. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. The 2-0. -oh. Hey. A 
bouncer up the middle. And that's out number one. Now batter. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Gregorius, also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Ready to deliver the one and two. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Hampson ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now about it. Digging in, JT Realmuto. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. <laughs> yeah, good luck, but hey, a high fastball. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their 2-1 to one lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. He said he's really proud of the fact that they've only gone down on strikes once in the game, all while averaging over a base hit per inning. If that kind of combination continues, he thinks there's a lot more to look forward to. Okay, thank you, Huddy. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. So he sets him down swinging. John Gray becomes the first out of the inning. Into the box, Ian Desmond. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Fifth inning, two to one our score. This one for the shortstop, Gregorius. Throw gets him, two down. The first base number nine. Stepping in, Daniel Murphy. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Roman Quinn. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The 1-0. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Quinn is retired, and there's one away. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Scott Kingery. 
Here's a shot to left field and deep. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And it gives the Phillies a 3-1 to one lead. swing right there Dan that had to feel good you're facing an elite starter you don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today you know that'll rattle you a little bit this guy's been throwing the ball great one of the top pitchers in the game he's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats in now Zach Eflin no pitcher as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh so far 0 for one with a fly out Now the 1 0. Too high. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And he fouls this one off. Three runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. This one's down to third. Oh, got him! And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. First pitch on its way. Now McCutcheon belts one, carrying well to left field. And it's gone! It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's 4-1. to one. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The right fielder, number three. Now with the plate, Bryce Harper. He's one for two in this one. As a look, now the pitch. No, that's the ball. 1 0 count. Here it is. In there, and it's even at one. Four runs, five hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. 1 1 pitch and a nice call for the change. It's 1 and 2. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, it could be something they have to think about. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. 
Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Ready with the 1-0. No. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2-0. Grounded to third. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Five innings complete. The Phillies lead it 4-1. to one. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in and looking for more. Charlie Blackman, a hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. High in the air out to center field. Quinn is right there, one down. Now that. So striding in, David Dahl. He's working on a one for two game so far. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. One strike. Hit out towards second. Kingery's there. Flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Now batting. Now batting, Trevor Story. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Lined hard toward right center. And a dive, but he comes up empty, and this is big trouble now out in right center. Around second now and headed for third. And he'll make it into third here with a two-out triple. Now batting. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers think, and he's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. Standing in now, Garrett Hampson. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he lays off for ball one. There is a base open here, so the option to work around it is there if they want to go that route. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-2 game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Stepping in now, Dom Nunez. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. No hits to this point. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Line toward the alley and left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also push across a score to make it a one-run game. Rymel Tapia will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Yeah, and giving up an RBI double is always painful, but even more so when there are two outs in the inning. A run had already crossed the plate, and then he gives up a blistering double to allow another run on the board. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Line to the right side, but foul. foul Two out here and a runner at second. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits. No.
Jake McGee enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Coming to the plate now, Didi Gregorius. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Yeah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Ball. 2 1. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Gregorius is retired, and there's one away. Stepping up now, JT Real Muto. He has flied and lined out in two trips in this one. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. The 1 0. Is fastball taken high for a ball. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it two and one instead. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Now the pitch. Down is full. Three balls, two strikes. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Desmond is there to put it away for out number two. Now at the plate, Roman Quinn. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. 4 3 our score here as we play inning number 6. Fouled off. Fly ball out toward left center field. Dahl's in pursuit. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Phillies down in order, but they hang on to a one run lead. Striding in for the Rockies, Ian Desmond. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Quinn is there and he has it for the first out. The first base Trying to pick things up where we left off. Daniel, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. 
But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. And Joe Girardi is going to get up off the dugout bench and confer at home plate. So we'll likely see a double switch here. Adam Morgan will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. A.J. Pollard is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Batting nine. Number 11. A.J. Pollard. First offering on its way. Ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Morgan is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. The count now at 2-1. and one. Now here's the pitch. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And this one will bounce into the wall. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. First delivery to him on the way. Charlie Blackman is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Looking at his career totals, Blackman is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Morgan, 30 years of age. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The 1-2. It was an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Still two and two. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Into right field, that's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. Into the box now, David Dahl. He swings and lines it to left. The catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. And that'll score the tying run. We're back to even four apiece. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Victor Arano trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. In there, no balls and a strike. Two men are on with two men out. Hit back up the middle. On the second for the force out, and the side is retired. But the tying run comes across to score here, as this one looks like it'll go to the wire. On now to the bottom of inning number seven, and we are tied 4-4. Wade Davis gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, ready for another shot now. Scott Kingery, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And that's high for a ball, 1 0. Now here's the pitch. Looked like he wanted to clobber that one, but it's one and one. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball, one and two. One ball, two strikes.
And the pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. The one two misses off the plate. The two two. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. Now back. The center fielder. Set to get his day started. A.J. Pollock. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First offering on its way. Ah, got him fishing that time, 0-1. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Ball knotted up. 4-4 the score here in the seventh. Down the third baseline. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew. Okay. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Runners on the move for second. Strike taken, the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Ready to begin the eighth. Striding in, Garrett Hampson. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Arano, a 25-year-old, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. Throw is not in time, and a great job of legging that out. Is now the Hold on here, though. That was really a close play, so they're checking to see if they want to challenge that safe call. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan. All right, so here's one final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as the headsets come off, and the runner is safe. So the ruling is confirmed, and they'll lose the ability to challenge for the remainder of the game. So now to the plate, Dom Nunez, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And it's fouled away. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. A swing and a miss on the ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Tie ball game, 4-4 four, four the score as we give you a look there at the starter comparison to see how the numbers match up for the two starting pitchers. Sam Hilliard will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Back goes Harper at the track. He leaps, but he can't make the play, and it bangs off the wall. 
And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Well, one thing's for certain. That okay. makes the manager look like a genius right there. He calls on him to pinch hit, yep. hoping for any kind of spark, and he gives him a little bit more than that, blasting a double that almost leaves the ballpark. Big innings often start with beginnings like this. At the plate, Ian Desmond, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, D, where what the runner in scoring position, the sack fly, brings that run in. This is where you're going to... A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he has broken this one open as this is down for extra bases. Well, that's a huge base hit right there, dear. We're the getting late three. into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job to get that knock right there to drive in a pair. At the plate now, Daniel oh. Murphy, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Even on 0-2, oh a dangerous count for Daniel Murphy. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back. So a runner at third. Two men are out. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Now here's the signal from the dugout. So he'll take first here on the intentional walk. And that makes runners at the corners with two away. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter, do up. Swing and a liner. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Count now a ball and a strike. Sent on the ground out to second. Kingery's there. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Scott Oberg is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading, Leading off the inning, Billy. Gene Segura, and they'll need him to get something going here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here's Bryce Harper now. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. From the stretch. No. The Phils find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Runner at first here, one man out. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. The count now at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. 
Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Now this will rattle up against the wall. The relay throw. Now he's safe at third as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. So a runner at third, two men are out, and that brings up JT Real Muto. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh. Now the 1 0 is laid oh. off for ball two. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Two outs here with a runner at third. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, as that'll put him into a tie at 7-7. Brian Shaw will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Neil Walker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Strike one to start the at bat. Three runs already home here. Counts even at one and one to Walker. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And it's out of here. Back-to-back, -back, two out home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And it's now a one-run ball game. are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, b -Row? If you come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now to guys who don't have a homer in this game. And in steps Scott Kingery. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Oh, one. Four runs here in this half inning. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire.
David Robertson comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 30, David. All set to start the ninth in this one. Ready once again, Trevor Story. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. One ball, no strikes the count. The 1 0 home. He swung on and missed, strike one. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. Here's the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. He'll try to punt his way on as he gets this one down. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning, D-Roll. Lead off double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up, you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. A ball and a strike now. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Fly ball right down the line in left. McCutcheon on the move. He makes the catch, but the tying run breaks for the plate. They can't make the tag on him. He's safe. And that ties the ball game in the top of the ninth. Josh Fuentes will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. I know this is not his finest moment, but we're not going to panic right here. This guy has been doing this a long time. A veteran that won't let the emotion get to him. Three and one to him now. To first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. All squared up even in Philadelphia through eight and a half. The Phillies have a chance to walk it off. Carlos Estevez comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Ready now, A.J. Pollard. Leading up for the Philly. First pitch the on his way. 4-1. 2 0 to the oh. Philly center fielder. Drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. A solo shot here to left. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. 
Well, when you're one hit of the game as a home run and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player. A close one, 9-8 to eight at the end of the game in this one. The Phillies came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. David Robertson claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line for this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Nine runs, 12 hits. It's Monday morning, and welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Philadelphia Phillies amassed an impressive six home runs in the game as they bested the visiting Rockies nine to eight.
As of today, the Phillies are atop the National League East division, while the Rockies are in second place in the NL West. Josh Bell plated five on the day with two big flies as the Pirates push past the Marlins 12 to nine. He is among the National League leaders in home runs. At the start of the day, the Marlins sit in second place in the National League East division, while the Pirates are in last place in the NL Central. The Cincinnati Reds smacked 15 team hits as they took down the Nationals in Washington 8-5. In the standings, the Nationals are in last place in the NL East, while the Reds are in first place in the NL Central. The Atlanta Braves brought out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they took care of the Mets at City Field 1-0. Heading into the day, the Mets are in fourth place in the NL East, while the Braves are third in the division. The Brewers combined for a four-hitter as they got the best of the visiting Redbirds 13-1. to As of right now, the Brewers sit in second place in the National League Central, and the Cardinals are third in the division. The Arizona Diamondbacks hit three long balls as they nab the win against the visiting Cubs 5-2. As of today, the Diamondbacks sit in fourth place in the National League West, while the Cubs sit in fourth place in the National League Central division. The Dodgers got 12 hits in this one as they grabbed a victory over the Padres at Petco Park, 6-4. At the start of the day, the Padres are in third place in the NL West, and the Dodgers are atop the division. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. plated four runs with three hits on the day, helping lead the Blue Jays over the Yankees, 8-7. He is currently riding a 10-game hitting streak. In the standings, the Blue Jays sit in fourth place in the American League East division, while the Yankees are atop the division. The Red Sox only allowed two hits in the game as they were winners over the visiting Rangers 3-2. As of right now, the Red Sox sit in third place in the American League East division, while the Rangers are in last place in the AL West. The Orioles finished off a three-game sweep as they got the extra innings win over the White Sox 4-2. As of today, the White Sox sit in last place in the American League Central division, while the Orioles are in second place in the AL East. The Cleveland Indians knocked out 12 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Giants 6-1. Entering the day's action, the Indians are sitting atop the AL Central, and the Giants are in fourth place in the NL West. The Detroit Tigers combined to give up just five hits as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium 5-3. Heading into the day, the Royals are in fourth place in the AL Central, while the Tigers are third in the division. The Angels put together 10 total hits as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins 3-1. In the standings, the Angels are atop the American League West, while the Twins sit in second place in the AL Central Division. The A's held the opposition at bay with only four hits as they beat the visiting Rays 3-2. As of right now, the A's sit in second...